Right, I'm bringing this TD160 back to life to try out this Audifone VMS20 Mark II cartridge that uh, we've got on the end here. Earlier you would have seen that I've got a problem with the motor bearing. However, a liberal amount of oil has cured that. As, uh, as you can see now, if I just start the thing rotating. We are silent as a mouse. Just uh, stop that. I'm going to now, well, I've just mounted the cartridge, done some adjustments. I'm going to set the tracking weight um, 1.5 grams. I've set the uh, tracking force adjustment to zero. I'm expecting the uh, arm to float. It's not uh, not floating at the moment, so uh, the uh, um, the main weight, the back counterweight, isn't set properly. So I adjust that, and then uh, set the the weight to one point five grams. It's uh, zero tracking force selected. Um, just the counterbalance on the back so that you just get the arm floating so that the needle is uh, at the correct height to play a record and you see it's pretty well balanced in that position okay so all I need to do is to set the Put it back into the rest, set uh, say 1.5 grams tracking force, that's 1.5, 1, 1.5 grams tracking force, making sure that the anti-skating adjustment is also set to 1.5, which it is, and that's it, but I'm going to now check the uh, tracking force using a gauge. This Colton Feriscale tracking force uh, indicator will show whether I've got the and I'm too nowhere near yet, I'm too light. Just move it up to about 1.5 grams which is about there and that's balancing. I've set the uh, set the tracking force correctly at 1.5 grams. Okay.